welcome. And please go ahead and start typing your questions in the Q and A. All right, Eric asks, just curious, why do you think blind offers work so well compared to letter of intent style campaign? I know what I think. <laughs> Collect <laughs> online seller leads and then sell to them. So here's the reason why, Eric. Bay, what if there are no zip code data from Redfin for the market I'm interested in trying? Should I give up in that market without zip code data? Any alternative solution? The offer was three hundred eleven thousand dollars. The average price, I'm, I'm assuming the special pricing, smart, price, smart yeah. pricing is $411,000. They want the properties that you're finding not to, uh, not only maybe to dress them up and make them pretty, they might just take the whole lot, clear it off and do something even more fantastic with it. It's so much easier to look at a house deal than it is a land deal. Right, I know. <laughs> it takes like four minutes. Exactly. So we would do this. Too. I'm like, what am I missing? What am I missing? I would do that. Too. Yeah, I would. Do so. Yeah. We're not even halfway there yet, or close to half, I guess. We're we're about halfway there. So this is good news. Good news for buying and selling houses, I think. Yeah. Every single time a, a, a real estate agent, especially if they're a family member, gets involved, there's both of us just like roll our eyes at each other just for fun. Okay. Look at that. Year over year, median sales prices in Washington D.C. and Virginia. I think what I would do is just, I think I would get the inspector in there, get him in a, onto the, in the CRM system that you have and talk to him every day and say, yeah, this looks pretty good. That's a good one. Steve Fuller says he's altered our inspection period to 21 days. If anyone questions, we explain that due to deferred maintenance, deferred maintenance, we need a little more time, no pushback. Yeah. Oh, I need, I need two months to pack and get my son out here mm -hmm. to clean out his stuff from the attic. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. Get the dead bodies out of the walls. Or whatever. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> of my deals. We're doing four house deals right now in, in a suburb uh, south of yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. And they're pretty light spread deals for us, like between 30 and what, 50? Mm -hmm. But I, I, I'm always hypersensitive to when I have a seller who has 10 properties or more and he wants to sell this one. <laughs> There's obviously a problem there, and I'm not sure I want to take on his problem. 